Welcome to the review you have been waiting for your whole life. Hey guys, welcome to today's review of the Titan Sleeve Knee Sleeves. Titan Knee Sleeves, the chosen sleeves everyone has been hyping about. I wanted to make a video to share my personal experience with the sleeves and give you some more information. So first of all, I want to come clear and say that I didn't try any of the any other of the new era knee sleeves. I haven't tried the Inzers, I haven't tried the A7s, I haven't tried the Strength Shop sleeves. The Titan knee sleeves are the only ones that I have tried. I also want to share that I have never used tight sleeves up until now. I thought I was using tight sleeves. I always went for the recommended uh, sizing. I never downsized on my sleeves. I always put them on pretty easily. I had no trouble. This is the first time in my life that I've been that I am using downsized, insanely tight sleeves. My old competition sleeves are Reband, which are CrossFit sleeves and they are like as thin as your socks. And my old competition sleeves are the Mark Bell X sleeves. They're pretty decent. I thought they were tight. These sleeves are much heavier than normal sleeves, meaning that they are denser. They have more material in them and you can feel it right away. They're much heavier, they're much stiffer, they don't bend that easily like normal neoprene sleeves. They were much, much harder to put on than my normal sleeves and that was and that was expected since I never downsized or anything. I measured my knee at 37.5 centimeters and I went for the mediums which was up to 36 centimeters. I would say that if you want to use them for competition, you, you could go down one size, but if you want to use them in training, you should stick to their chart. I use the sleeves up until now for four sessions, I think, and I only use them in my top sets. On the bulk of sets, I switch to the old sleeves because I don't want to depend on the sleeves to squat. I have squatted up until now with my old sleeves, 270 kilos, and I'm really excited to see what I'm going to squat in these new sleeves. I believe that sleeves might give you 1-5% to extra. It's not that much, and it's not as much as people expect it to be. When I wore them for the first time, I couldn't pull them up all the way. I still can't pull them up all the way because of the downsizing, but I think with time, when they get looser and looser, I will pull them up properly. The first time I put them on, it was mental to me how much the difference was between normal sleeves and these ones. I felt like I was 10 times stronger and I had so much rebound out of the hole. On my first session, I squatted 240 kilos for reps and it wasn't even that hard for me. I was feeling like I was going to stroll through the park, which usually this way is not that hard for me, but also not too easy. My first impression was that these sleeves are cheating. They help you squat a lot more weight. But after I wore them a few times, that effect wore off slowly. And I felt uh, more and more normal each time. Like I said, I haven't pulled them up the whole way up yet. I'm working on it. The stitching looks pretty solid and Tidan is usually very good with their stitching and all, on all the equipment. I have a singlet from Tidan and I have used it in like 5, 6 or 7 competitions plus in prep and I have no problems with it. The stitching of Tidan is very very solid and good for, for things like equip so I trust them with that. So in training I have tested them, they are pretty good. The only thing that I don't have information is that if they hold in the long term. I have heard from other athletes that they have been using injures and mostly injures that they get a hole on their stitching six months in or something like that and if you pay for that price you expect to have a good quality sleeve and not get destroyed in six months you want to you want the sleeve to hold up to three years or i don't know something like that so you can get your money's worth the stitching looks promising but i don't have that experience yet as so i can't i can't tell you if they are good in the long term or not the structure is a bit different than the normal sleeve. If you see here, it's not a straight, like a straight pipe. It's a bit bent. And that might, that I think that causes the, the sleeve to buckle behind the knee. And that causes some pain and irritation. But when you do a few sets with them, you get used to it and it doesn't hurt anymore. You have that sensation of the sleeve cramping up behind your knee. And sometimes I get like, and I get like bruises or scratches behind my knee but you get used to it and it's no problem after three or four sets. I would say that sleeves like this give you confidence to move faster and that means indirectly that you will squat more weight. I would not recommend these sleeves for anything below advanced. 
I would recommend that you first learn to squat, then you build some strength, have solid confidence without these types of sleeves, and then when you reach a good level and you are competitive and you want to squeeze out a few more kilos out of your squat, you are reaching your limits or you want to squeeze a few more kilos out of the squat to be competitive on the international level, you should go for it. But anything less than advanced, I would not recommend these types of sleeves. Learn to squat, learn good technique, be confident with your squat and your technique, put on some relatively tight sleeves, put on downsized sleeves, and then maybe use these ones. They are relatively expensive. If you are a, if you are anything below advanced, you don't have to spend that much money. I went and bought them because I started to compete on the international level. And on the international level, everybody's using them. So I have to use them also to be competitive. I went against the guys last December that were using this. I was 14th place on the squad in Europe with the old sleeves and I'm pretty excited to see what I will squat in my next competition or international competition with these ones. I hope to get a few more kilos out of them because each kilo counts in this level of competition. If you get 5 kilos out of them or if you get in my case 13 kilos out of them like the 5%, it's not like you go from 100 kilo to 110 kilo. If you go from 270 to 280 directly only from the sleeves, it's an, it's an insane progress and at that level you that you progress much much slower these sleeves will help you have an edge against against other athletes. So I would recommend it for anything above advanced. So like I said, if you want to downsize, be careful with it. Don't go too hard because these sleeves are very tight. And for example, in my case, I downsized and I haven't put them on the, the correct way yet because they are too damn tight and they don't expand. You, you can't pull them apart. So downsizing, don't go too hard, maybe one centimeter or something like that. If you have big calves, Stick with the chart because you are going to have trouble. Their sleeves are pretty helpful. They give you some confidence and make you feel more stable because of the, the insane tightness they give you. On the long term, I don't have any information about this, but I heard from other sleeves that they, they, they get holes in the long term. These ones, they look promising. The stitching looks promising. It's a bit different than the other sleeves. You have the stitching in the back and on the sides. And it looks like they will hold. They are pretty expensive. If you are at a high level, I would recommend that you buy these and use them in prep and in competition. If you are anything less than advanced, don't spend your money, learn to squat, get stronger, and then use them. That's it for today. I hope I helped you with your decision when buying your new sleeves. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe. If you don't know what to do with your training or you need a powerlifting program to train, make sure you check out Strength Blocks. It's my own powerlifting coaching service. You can find the links in the description. We offer individualized programs and individualized coaching. We also offer feedbacks for technique. We post free tips on Instagram, so make sure you follow us on Instagram and make sure you check us out. If you need anything, we're here for you. We can help you get stronger, fix your technique. I hope we helped you with this video. I'll see you next time.